Hi, question number four. The back-to-back -back stem and leaf diagram shows the values taken by two variables A and B. This is A, this is B. And these are the variables, okay, A and B. Now we have a key for 16, 7 means 0 0.617 for, for, for B and 0 0.164 for A. Find the median and the interquartile range for variables A. Now to be able to find the median for A, we're going to count here how much of the variables we've got here. All right, so that's going to be 3 plus 2 plus 3, which is 8 plus 12, 20, 28, 33. <coughs> so we have got 33. So if we want to find the median, we take 33 plus 1, we divide by 2, that's going to give us 17 and a half. Okay, so we're going to be looking for 17 and a half. 3 plus 2 plus 3 is 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 and a half. I mean, so 18. 17 and a half is somewhere here. So that's going to be 0 0.186. Therefore, we got the median as... Uh, <coughs> median is going to be 0 0.186. Okay, so that's cool. Now for the interquartile range, okay, for variable A. Interquartile is equal to the upper quartile minus the lower quartile. So what is the upper quartile? It's three quarter of all the, uh, of the of the distribution. So three quarter of 34, isn't it? So we're going to say um, 34 divided by 4, multiplied by 3, and I got it on 25th and a half. So for the upper quartile, we're looking at 25th and a half. <coughs> so 3 plus 2 plus 3 is 8 plus 12 is 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So 25th and a half is between these two. 0 0.198, 0 0.198 again. You add both of them and you divide by 2, you're going to end up with 0 0.198. So now you subtract the lower quartile. The lower quartile again, you're going to take uh, 34, you divide by 4, that's going to give you 8.5. So we're looking at 8.5. So therefore, 3 plus 2 plus 3 is 8, and 8 is uh, 0 0.178, and 9 is 0 0.180. Between these two, you get, you're going to get uh, 8.5. So we're going to say 0 0.178 plus 0 0.180. So 0 0.178 plus 0 0.180, and you divide by 2, you get the lower quartile, which is 0 0.179. So 0 0.179. So subtract these and uh, you're going to get okay 0 0.998 minus 0 0.179 so 0 0.01 0 0.019. So here we are for the interquartile range. So the interquartile range is 0 0.1 0 0.019. So this is the interquartile for variable A. So this is done <coughs> and this median. You are given that for variable B, the median is 0 0.171 and the upper quartile is this and the lower quartile is this much. Draw a box in whisker diagrams, whisker plots for A and B in a single diagram on graph paper. Okay, I'm not going to be drawing it on graph paper, Okay, but in the exams, of course, you're going to be supplied with a graph paper. Alright, so let's take a look at how we're going to draw this now. Okay, so we'll get a ruler. And uh, <clears throat> we're going to look at the values. Okay. So let's take a look. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So. Okay. So where are we, where are we going to start? Uh, we're going to start for A. And uh, we know that variables A, the smallest one is 0 0.150. Okay, so 0 0.150. And the greatest one is going to be 0 0.29, I suppose. 0 0.209. 0 0.209. So 0 0.21. So 0 0.15 is the smallest. 0 0.16. 0 0.17. 0 0.18. 0 0.19, 0 0.20, 0 0.21. So here's uh, the uh, the values. Now, the median, 
sorry, for we are looking for a, uh, b, for b, you are given for variable. Let's do a first. <coughs> okay, we just found the median to be 0 0.186. Okay, so where is 0 0.186? Alright, trying to get some space here. Zero point one nine, zero point one eight six somewhere here. We have the um, lower quartile we found was um, zero point one seven nine, zero point one seven, zero point one seven nine is almost zero point one eight. So here we are. That's for okay the lower quartile the upper quartile was uh, 0 0.198 0 0.198 somewhere here so this is the box and whisker diagram for variable a and this is one this one is for variable a but we're not yet finished because the smallest value for a as can be seen all right, is um, for A the smallest value is 0 0.150, the greatest value is 0 0.209. Okay, 0 0.150, which is here, okay, and 0 0.209, somewhere here. So this is the complete box and whisker diagram for variable A. I'm going to label this as A. Now we need to do for B, and for B we are told that the median is 0 0.171. 0 0.17 is here, 171, okay, somewhere approximately here. Okay, so this is going to be for A, right, uh, <coughs> I mean for B, rather. And then I have um, the, uh, the lower quartile is 0 0.179, so 0 0.179. Okay, so this is lower quartile. Okay. And the upper quartile is given... No, sorry, this was the upper quartile. 0 0.179 is the upper quartile. Okay, and the lower quartile is 0 0.164. 0 0.16, 0.164, so somewhere here. 0 0.164. 0 0.164, probably here. Okay, so, and the lowest value for B, and the greatest value for B as well, is going to be lowest by 0 0.151, 0 0.204. <coughs> 0 0.201, 204, somewhere here. Okay, and then 0 0.151. Okay, somewhere here. Right, and this is uh, this thing for B. <coughs> sorry, that's going to be for B. Well, I'm sorry, I messed up here. Shouldn't be doing it like that. Sorry, getting too excited with this one. Okay. Here we are, and that's it. So this question is taken from June 2012, Advanced Level Maths, HSC Statistics 1.